Amanda. Hello. Good to see you again, <laughs> Michael. I'm so glad. Isn't this great? Fantastic. Michael, be positive. I am being positive. This is me being positive. Give it up, Michael. The sarcasm. It's one of the reasons I moved out. It's beneath you. No, it's not, Amanda. Trust me. Nothing's beneath me. No, normally there's a whore beneath you. You know, for someone oh. who spends every waking moment working on themselves inside and out, I gotta tell you, the progress has been really fucking slow. How would you know what progress is like? Yeah, like, Stupid I haven't cheated on her at all, but she's cheated on him multiple cheated. times. <laughs> They're just sitting on their cell phones. Oh, all I do is whine. Michael, could you please stop murdering people? Michael, could you please stop endangering me and the both of your children? You kill people and then you sit in the sun and drink and feel guilty about it. That is not work. I don't see you complaining on the way to the fucking bank. Yeah, exactly. I don't see you getting upset with the millions in our bank account. We're trailer trash. You and me. We were taught to do this. Get a center, Michael. You have no center. How about you, no you center. suck my cock? Huh? No, wait. We'll both get a center before that ever happens. You are such a fucking animal, a deranged animal. You fucking <laughs> right on deranged. How could I not be? I should have had you locked up years ago, you stupid Do shit. It. Do it. I'll put you in the fucking ground with the rest of you. I love that. <laughs> that's uh, all the time we have for today. Yeah. I think we made some there. Please hit him. Uh, Michael, I hope this goes without saying, but family work is a little more expensive. What? Double? Squared. <laughs> of course. Take care now. <laughs> hey, piece of shit. So you gonna come home with me or what? Guess we'll give it a try. Right. Like, she straight up cheats on him and then has the audacity to so, say something around the lines of, oh, you have a whore underneath you. You cheated on me. It's like, yeah. Maybe he did before I started playing the game. But Michael hasn't That's even gone to the strip club without the intent like of going there to talk to, to Trevor. Like Maybe we need more time. Time for what? Time to move beyond screaming at each other. That was cathartic. Wee. Catharsis all over my face. Ooh, I got warm, fuzzy feeling. Probably just the meds you rated. <laughs> okay. Cathartic. Got a warm, fuzzy feeling. That's all like right. I loved the. Uh, I want it to be more of the same. Dark now, Tower thing, or I watched the movie. I, didn't, I haven't no, read the books, the so a lot of people apparently who read right. the books hated the movie, but I didn't think the movie was too bad. We do, all of us. Um, yes, mom. For real peeps. Because I started to but understand something in there. What it was is no he's like these painkillers you gave me. They're great. I haven't felt this good in years. Like, or the juice guy, or the just take some painkillers and he's good to go. Jimmy's third grade teacher, or the trash guy, or dad's proctologist. Or the guy that thinks he's Jesus on Vespucci Beach. Or the hippie bum who thinks the world is ending. We're stuck with each other. I mean, how do you explain faking our deaths, changing our names, all the lying to the FIB, that monster Trevor? There's no explaining Uncle T. Hey, is he coming to the next therapy session? <laughs> no, jeez. Just one thing, Michael. Don't get us killed. And don't get killed. Can you do that? Nope. Give him my best shot. With every fiber of my being, I will do whatever it takes to make sure it doesn't happen. Promise. And no more hookers or other women. Yeah, Dad. Gross. You're better than that, Pop. Uh, guys, I'm not really comfortable having this conversation. Just keep it in your Also, pants. okay. He can yeah, say, so I haven't cheated on you in. in blank amount of time. Here we are. Home sweet home. But, I don't know, I feel like they should just Kids? fill you in with that, like, how long ago did he cheat on her? Dead bodies, cheap women, or Trevor Phillips. We're checking into the Rockford Hills Hotel. 
Like, Trevor owns the strip club, but Michael's only been there once for him. And, I don't know, I feel like that's such a weird thing. That was a long time. I don't know if there's a way to complete that faster. Oh! Now I finally do a mission with T. With Teaver. Teervor. Uh, is he gonna... Uh, yeah, there you go. Oh, damn. Sometimes he wakes up wearing a dress. Oh. Last one standing. Again. <laughs> oh, this is just an occurrence to Trevor. Like, yeah, this happens. Oh, there we go. Uh, yeah, hell's... Hell's bikers. <laughs> I just, I love, sometimes he'll just wake up in a dress. Or he'll just, like, find him in a dress. Uh, oh, wow, I am a wee bit out there. Only slightly, only slightly. Mary Ann. Okay. What other Trevor's, what other Trevor's you got? What other missions you got? Come on, Trevor, you can go faster than that. Mashing triangle and or sprint. He's barely moving. Oh, I'm actually not that far. Well, I am far away, but I mean. I thought I was further out of the map. They're dead. Maybe, I don't know. That's how you park your boat. The hell the hell do I... Okay, it's blinking. I guess go to him. And then I'll go back to Trevor after and do the Marianne thing. Why was it blinking with... Oh, because he's following the guy around, I guess. Alright, don't fuck it up. Alright. Is that him? Just standing there? Or what am I supposed to do? Hey, oh. stupid! You can't be on here without a hat! Yeah, I do much. like how he gives you a hat. There you go. Oh, there he is. I think I gotta follow him up to the top floor. It's stupid, you can't be in here without a hat. As long as you don't wear a white hat. I was working a construction site uh, years ago. Ubermach. That's, that's Uberman. I can't get over the pylon. Uh, but years ago I was working a construction site and there's this guy. Like... Five foot two, tiny little dude. And he walks up and he's wearing a white hat and he's not the general of the site. So I'm like, why are you wearing a white hat, right? And I was like, what's up? And he's chatting with me. He's like, you're a new fee, right? I'm like, no, my, my dad is. And he's like, oh yeah, okay. But we're, uh, we're chatting and just like, I'm like, why are you wearing a heart? Like, I'm like, you're not the general here, are you? Why are you wearing a white hat? He's like, I'm not the general. I wear a white hat because he's a dick. I get to. And that's it. He's like, I get to wear a white hat. That's all there was to it. There was no, like... Uh... There was no... Like, oh, you know, I just... I just got the white hat. No, no, I'm just like, I... Because I can. Just up yours. I get to. So this guy's a prick, he deserves to die. I wonder if I should kill him with this. Nah, maybe no. And farmer da 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 da. -da. What the hell? Oh, whoops. Okay, so just walk around with a shotgun out. Someone help me! Protect me from him! Get 
Oh, I'm gonna die. Okay, I might not die. That worked. Well, uh, you know, improvise, adapt, over. Uh oh. Uh oh. Lots of cops there. Uh, no. This way. There we go. Gotta put a barrier in between you and them. Damn it. No truck there. I was hoping there would be a uh, actual vehicle attached to it. Pick up, pick up the briefcase. Where's the briefcase? Okay, I guess it's just in me. And away I go. <laughs> Just, okay, so I'll admit that mission could have gone better. I did like the uh, falling onto the uh, elevator continuously, but still. Excuse me. Excuse me. <clears throat> that was weird. It's <laughs> a great glitch. And I survived, which is even better. Which makes me the victor. Haha. <laughs> um. Right. There we go. Let's see if I can find a tunnel. Hey, look at that, a tunnel. And I've escaped the police. It's that easy. I had four stars, it went down to three, I think. And that's how Franklin do. Hey, Oculus stuff is updated on my phone. Oculus. The Oculus now requires you to sign into Facebook, so I try to use it, and it's like, doesn't count, Facebook account registered to other things, can't use, can't use, no matter what I try. So it looks like I just don't use VR on my phone anymore. Oh, really? They're going to come straight at me, eh? Well, that's bad for them. No. Okay, good. I was going to say, don't, don't slow down. They're right there. Hello, officer. It's not stealing if they don't seem to get into it, and I'm black. Yeah, I'm surprised I didn't get stars just now for doing that, because they hate black people in this game. Like, I, you can find a video of it online, I think. I can't remember what it was, but it's like... The guy walks up to the police, says, like, like just standing near the police. Like, hey, officer, how's it going? And then he's like... This, uh, like uh, officer under attack! And he just shoots him and kills him. And it's just like, what? That was... What? <laughs> like, just out of nowhere, just start shooting him to death. It's great. Okay, turn this way. Alright, I have driver's instinct now with... Darky. With, uh... Frank Lan. Oh, look at him go! There was a cop here. They were running a, uh... Ooh! They were running a, uh, thing. What's it called? They were running a thing where it's like you... Drive... Uh, like, I guess a test? And the cop who was doing it was driving like 165 down a road where the speed level was 60. And some old lady was crossing the street and nailed her and killed her immediately. And I don't know if he got suspended or not, and I'm hoping he did. Or fired completely because you shouldn't be doing that, even for like any for any reason. Hey, What's crack and hacking? Of course I do, huh? Here, thank you. <laughs> so, all good? Sure, homie. So 
is this shit for real? We just gonna rob the FIB and be allowed to walk by your boys like that. Yeah, I don't fucking know. Probably not. All right, Lester, what do you got? Uh, I don't quite know yet. Give me a minute. I'm not a fucking computer. Oh. Oh. Oh, maybe oh. I am. <laughs> or maybe. Here's what I think. We have two options. The new security okay. software goes into containment mode in case of emergency, you know, uh, earthquakes, mudslides, acts of God. So if you plant some firebombs, they go bang, the emergency call goes out, we hijack it, show up as firemen, and then we grab the containment drive. Or we could hack the system on site. We'll go in by, uh, by air. Uh, hope we don't run into too much physical resistance. What about the janitor? So relaxing. Either bombing our office ran by the vision of corrupt government psychos or defeating one of the world's most complex security systems using our worthless ass ninja skills, huh? Yeah. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Um. If you favor the firebomb containment drive option, you'll go in with that janitor's ID you picked That's up. what I like. <laughs> It'll be at night when most of the workers are off. You mop the place and plant the bombs where we need them. Seriously. I got a mop? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you really do. They'll clock you on the cameras if you're play acting. You also need a fire truck to show up in when the bombs go off, and a getaway car stashed in a quiet place near the bureau so you could torch the truck and get yep. out. The car doesn't have to be anything <clears throat> special. There shouldn't be any heat. Well, what about the other way, with the uh, ninja skills? Now you choose that route, you won't be using the janitor's gear, but we had to cover all the bases. Your FIB paymaster yep. will have to provide you with a chopper and a pilot. Now you fly way up above the building, parachute in, and gain access through the roof here. Now you'll need to be armed and to the then find you just in case the uh, shit goes down. Mopping or yeah, and that one, the shit goes down. Wow, you're making this choice really difficult. Well, I'm gonna, I'm the gonna do the mop. Giving us the leftover money from the Polito job to pull this mission, and the crew will be paid out of that. We keep the change. So, what's it gonna be? Fire crew. Then so just pick a shitty crew. A mop. Okay. Well, you'll need a couple of gunmen. They'll go in with you. Packy McCreary. Ah, I always want to bring him. Fire single bullet. Daryl John. We'll be running into a burning high rise with them, so consider that. Uh, uh, you know what? He was part of a well-known Liberty City stick-up crew. Small world. Oh, cool. I did not. We're taking Packy. I got a good feeling about him. And everyone else is going to be garbage. Daryl, uh, I'm not hearing great things, to be honest, but you just might be able to do this with him. No, we will. Okay. That all look good to you? You are robbing the FIB here. Yep. And we have a winner. I'll make your angels to call you when we're ready. All right, shit, hit me. <laughs> you know, um, I'm still looking into that Union Depository gig. It's real interesting. But I don't know if we can do it without you know who. Uh, well, as long as he can't do it without us. Okay. Exactly. Because then uh, he'd probably try if he could do it without us. But uh, director of unlocked high crew members. Architect's plan expand. Quick getaway, fifty-seven seconds. Yeah. So so here's the thing, I think if you just follow him all the way up to the top, he puts his briefcase down and you just grab it and walk away. You don't actually have to do much of anything, take the elevator down, get in your car, drive away sort of thing. But, and I should probably quickly check to make sure I'm still recording, because I accidentally was walking around with a shotgun on the construction site, I kind of set him off. So, my bad. <laughs> like that's all I got is whoops. Sorry. Uh it's in the wrong video mode. There we go. Okay, let's switch to T Vor. Jeez, yeah, they got missions to do now. Drunk again? Drunk again. Jeez, Trevor, it's like you're just falling apart without your buddy. Just Michael at your side. Stand there while I burn to a crisp. Uh huh? 
Just stand there while I burn to a crisp. You know what? Damn. That looks like old fashioned then. Okay, I think she's dead. Just gonna stand there while I burn to a crisp. I can't remember, like, he seemed genuinely upset over that. <laughs> like, that's just. I can't believe it. You're such a bad person. Okay, let's see if I can get Marianne to uh, race Trevor now because she's raced Michael. She's raced Franklin. S. Oh, Solomon. Probably. Come on, your truck is better than this, ain't it? There you go, see? Trucks for girls, though. They really are. It's like every girl I know is like, oh my god, trucks are so cool. I want a truck. But like almost all the guys I know are like, yeah, you know, use a truck for hunting, but for a car because fuel efficiency. Fuel efficiency. Wow, what the hell's the bubble around the car there? Oh, when you turn the bubble, actually goes out to like, I don't know. That's weird. I wonder why it does that. Canero, Canyonero, whoa, Canyonero, whoa. And then Marge rolls her Canyonero because she does a turn. Sorry, a sharp turn, finger quotes. And it explodes in the flame. <laughs> That's like the picture of a PT Cruiser I saw where it's just, it's a PT Cruiser. And the guy ran into a snow pile, but I guess there was something in the snow pile. Maybe. But for some reason, the PT Cruiser just burst into fire. And to me, that's just the greatest picture of all time. <laughs> just like a burning PT Cruiser in snow. Like, what happened? I hit a snow pile. Really? Yep. 2.8 miles away. Jesus. Maybe going over the mountains isn't the soundest choice of, you know, speed. Oh, well, we're going this way now. Trevor, stop, stop rolling your car. Thank you. It's one of those things where it's like they have the power to not do that. So why don't they just use those powers? It's not hard. I mean, you just hold the directional button. It's like crank the steering wheel a little bit. You're not going to roll anymore. That's how I'm going to get out of it when it happens to me in real life one day. You only have yourself to blame. <laughs> you only have yourself to blame. I was actually driving, after this I think I'm just going to cut out the drive the rest of the way. I was driving from one of my lessons on Monday here and it just started raining really bad. Um, but I was driving back from one of my lessons <clears throat> and to get there I got to uh, like drive down this really busted ass road. Like it's a cement road but it's like covered next to like it's just ditches and dirt around it. There's no actual... Like railing, there's no sidewalk because it's just like it's right out of the city near the farmland area. And I was driving, and it's just like the way I was, I was doing the speed limit, but just it was so icy out. I just I slid just a little bit, and it was one of those moments where I was like, Oh no, 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 just it almost, almost into the ditch. Damn it, I broke a wheel. Oh well, I'm gonna cut out the rest of the way because I'm probably gonna have to steal a car anyways and just get there. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Ooh, I'm gonna steal this car. And she's gone. Why does she keep doing that? The hell? Every time. That's annoying. Like, is there something specific to it? Like, she just... She just disappears. Uh, one of their names flashing. Nope. Well, this is bullshit. 
I think that's the only short mission he has actually right now. I think so. What's that from that rampage I haven't done over there? Or I have done and failed at. I don't know which one it is. Oh well, I tried to do the thing with her, but it didn't work out. So I guess that's it. Thanks for watching. Toodle pip.